Could stand for be quiet, couldn't it? <laughs> I don't want it to be. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I know I would probably have some mutual friends. I'm going home and searching my Facebook friends for anything that starts with a P. I want to know who that is. <laughs> Well, well, they're both unfriendly, right? So you're not going to know who they are, right? If they unfriended me on Facebook... Yeah, but they're, they're they're they could be are. my friends. See? Mm, yeah, yeah, good yeah. point. Yeah. Is it P, P or P and P? Well, oh, both Let's both not get into details. Both of the first names start with P. Okay, yeah. I got it. Okay. Right. I think I know who they are. <laughs> anyway. Hey, they did you a favor. That's right. Yes. 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 Maybe. Yes. Though I... I don't know. Yes. There's too many friends anyway. I want enemies now. I need some good enemies. I've had a few in my life, but they've kind of died. I need some new enemies. Okay, next we have, coming up, somebody who I have not, I've met on Facebook, but I've not met in person before. I don't think. I might have. Getting old. Getting Alzheimer's. Enjoying it immensely, but I break things down now. So please welcome to the stage, Ted Goodrich. Come on up, Ted. He is called his name. Hello, everybody. I am with uh, the Fraser Valley Poets Society out in Abbott Street, and we're doing a uh, uh, book for 150 years. It's an anthology. I'm going to read a couple that I wrote that are in the anthology. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it enough. You may want to buy that book. This is Canada at 150. Let's celebrate the birthday of our Canada so grand. Give cheers for all the joyous things for which we all do stand. Yes, there are things within our past we'd rather not disclose, and we could dwell on each of these with sadness, I suppose. But would it not be better to have learned from these mistakes and move on to a brighter light to do whatever it takes? So let's rejoice the future and celebrate the rest as we seek out our new challenges to make the world its best. And this one is called The Immigrant. And I'd like you to picture, go back to the turn of the, uh, the 20th century when people were coming west by train. They were trying to find their way in life. And this is how they must have felt. As I boarded the train, I thought to myself, I'm off to a brand new beginning. I'm leaving my home for the very last time. I have nothing to lose but for winning. All the pressures and woes, all the sadness that was, they are left as a gray in the past. But the future is now, with a brightness and glow, to show me a world so vast. As I look down the track, there is no going back. That is history I shall not repeat. Though my eyes, they do swell from some things that do dwell from that past from which I now retreat. But I must look ahead, down the track, as I said, and my thoughts, they will broaden, I'm sure, for my will is to grow and to let my mind show a progression my heart must procure. Share the future beyond where I'm certainly bound as I gasp and I grasp at the new. Yes, I gasp as I cheer the unknown is here. Let me grasp it and, and find what to do. To the new, to the new, whatever it is, whatever is out there for me, I am master of all that I'm seeking to have. So masterful I then must be. Thank you. Yeah. 